it's a very unconventional holiday Christmas movie. Um, it's also my first Christmas movie. Um, the script made me laugh out loud, which is always a good sign. Cause you know, if I'm reading the script in my house by myself and I hear myself laughing, then I know it's funny. <laughs> Oh, hello. Wait, karaoke guy, right? Finn. Mm. Zoe. Where's uh, the rest of your coven? Oh God, they're off getting ready. It's a big day, very, very big day. Oh wait, you know that in Trish? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. for years. Okay. <laughs> so much to celebrate the holidays. Um, their union, uh, my engagement. Oh, wow. Damn, <laughs> everybody's getting married these days, huh? The movie, this holiday movie, honestly is totally different than a lot of other holiday movies out there. So what drew your attention to this particular script and this character? Oh man, so many things. I guess the first thing would be that it's, uh, it's a very unconventional holiday Christmas movie. Um, it's also my first Christmas movie. Um, the script made me laugh out loud, which is always a good sign. Cause you know, if I'm reading the script in my house by myself and I hear myself laughing, then I know it's <laughs> funny. Um, and then the, the, one of the, the really big things that I loved is that the, it, within the script itself, it, it made it very clear that the cast was diverse. And I thought that was very important because you rarely see, um, especially in this age range of, of the of Let's Get Married, but you rarely see, uh, um, you know, holiday movies with, you know, where, where everyone, every color is represented. And, it, you know, the writer, Sasha Pearl Raven, made it, you know, very clear. And I think, uh, you know, Ava Longoria had a lot to do mm -hmm. with that as well. And, uh, all of those things um and you know just the chance to be like the rom-com dude you know what i mean like i was like hey this is, yes. i like i like this let me yeah let me let me do this so yeah i, I uh I loved it right off the bat. So Finn made it very, very clear from the beginning, he was not about marriage and he was not about finding love. No. So I had to ask, is Taj in agreement with that? How does Taj feel about marriage and finding love right now? You know what? Right now, I agree with Finn, uh, how he is in the, in the beginning of the movie, which I guess mm -hmm. that's one of the similarities between us. Um, and, and yeah, I mean, maybe down the road. Uh, right now, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I got, I got four god kids, two nieces, two nephews, and I always say they are the best form of birth control there mm -hmm. ever is. So do you have a holiday movie that you have to see every year? Ooh, I have a lot. I have a Ooh. lot. Probably the main, the ones that I like always start off with, because I like to go down the line of just like all my favorites, is, is definitely Home Alone 1 and Home Alone 2. Like I gotta do those back to back. And you know, I know all the words too. Yeah. And my whole fam my whole family knows all the words too. You should see us watch those movies. Like it's like it's comedy. Like I straight comedy. It. Like um so those two are probably the ones I always start with. Uh you're not married? Me? No. No. Oh. <laughs> no. Nah, never. Well, why not? I engage people don't want to hear my take on marriage. No, no, please. All right. Uh well, I do like the dancing part of weddings. That's fun. But honestly, the only thing falling in love leads to is heartbreak, right? And lo love doesn't even last. And even if it does, can't you just enjoy it without making people buy you presents? Well, hopefully you'll change your mind. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Um, so now that you've done your first holiday movie and you actually had some pretty dramatic scenes with Welcome Matt too, which looks pretty yeah. awesome. I gotta catch that. Thank you. Um, Thank yeah, you. of course. And and I was really surprised. I saw you crying. I don't know if I've ever seen you cry in a movie before. That was one of the big reasons. You know, I tried it with everything I do. I try to find something that is within the, you know, the, the script 
that people haven't seen me do before because it's, mm. it's new for them it could be a challenge for me and with welcome matt he was just throughout the script there was just every single emotion so i was like oh i have to do this because it was the challenge like that movie was pretty much me on the screen the whole time so i was like okay and a lot of the days at work it was just me and the crew and it was like mm. it, it was it was very like emotionally draining but also um uh, uh it, it was like a it, it gave me joy uh, uh doing mm. it especially watching it back and see how many uh how many uh, people that that movie has touched with you know mental health and all that so you you can't ask for anything more as an actor so very proud Absolutely. of that movie do you ever see yourself venturing off into things like reality TV or talk shows like your sisters have? Or? Um, I've always just been like a hard no on reality <laughs> stuff. Just like real quick, no, good, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Like even when my sisters were doing their reality show, they would ask me like every month, like, God, you want to, I'm like, nope. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, Talk show, I can see myself in the future, like when I'm older, maybe having some sort of like late night, sort of like, um, you know, in the vein of like Jimmy Fallon, like, you know, something where I could have the freedom to, you know, to do the, the maybe some skits, some some funny monologues, you know, bring some 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 people on uh, to interview, have a, have, a, have a drink he's drank with, you know, right. while, we, while we interview it. But that'll be like, that's like later, later down the road. For now, it's, yeah. it's uh, um, you know, focused on the, on the, uh, the acting, the acting side of it. That's, that's my, my, my passion, passion.